we starting this bitch off and bro I'm so fucking tempted to take his gun right now <laughs> I'm so tempted to take this nigga's pistol right now just because I know I can but we don't even we're not even on all of that type of shit you heard we are a reformed citizen nigga 2023 I'm I was gonna say no more stealing pistols uh, <laughs> that'd be a motherfucking lie but we starting this bitch off in a new place one cause I, I, is this is gonna be like a long tournament the zodiac tournament which like I said, I'm being a man of my word. I said we was going to do it next time. This is next time. Now we're doing it. But it's going to be like, I know it's going to be a, a, I don't even know how long this is really going to take me to beat, but I know it's going to be a little minute because you got to get to the intro cutscene. I got to beat all the missions on the island. So, and I like to keep these shits like 30 minutes long. So basically, I don't, I'm, but what I'm saying is, is we're starting off here for more of a time sake purpose. But before we get that cracking, let me show y'all something. We are officially. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Um, let me see. What do I want to get? I'm for melee weapons. Lock on. Uh, yeah. All right. We are now officially at. Fa what the fuck? I was gonna say fa Yeah. Well, we're at face level ten, but I didn't know it could go like your bar could go past 10 so i don't know i'm gonna keep doing i'm gonna keep doing these little uh these little favors and shit as they pop up on the map just because i kind of got adhd and i want to get them off the map and i also don't want you niggas thinking that i'm a fucking lazy sack of shit even though i am you know appearances uh, appearances everything but we got to level 10 so now i can get 40 percent off of everything which I, I ain't gonna lie that's not really doing much for me because i already got all the respect like shits that I could buy like and I, I'm pretty sure I got most of the clothes but that is gonna help cuz I ain't gonna lie we need a new whip I'm tired of driving around and all this free shit that the game gives us like I'm, I might go buy something so as soon as we get back from this island back from this little karate tournament I should earn more upgrades to enter the zodiac tournament I press no what is it is recommended that I, and I, I've never even got that message. Because like, what more upgrades would I need? I can't use no fucking cop, no cop points. Uh, now they can't be talking about fighting upgrades. I mean, they can't be talking about these because these don't give you no health boosts. I mean, I got the shit that does give you health. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm not no bitch. We gonna do this shit anyway. I've played this game. This game doesn't have a fucking difficult. This game, any game that doesn't have difficulty settings, I'm willing to put my money on. It's not that hard. And I mean, I don't want to say it's not that hard, but if the game doesn't give you an option to make the game harder, that means that they think mad people can do this shit in this exact way. So, I mean, and they gave me a little warning, but nigga, this is this isn't 13 year old me playing this game. Nigga, this is 20 year old me. I could, I could. Uh, Damn, the, the mic just touched my chin. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a young me playing these games. This is 20 year old me. I could do some of this shit now. I never be knowing how hard, not how far I should have this shit from my face or not, cause I don't want y'all to be hearing me breathing loud and like sometimes I inhale snot. So I, sometimes I be, or every time I do these, I drink, cause. Uh, I'm not, like I said before, I'm not naturally a loud niggas so speaking for long periods of time and trying to put some bass in my voice, it makes my throat hurt pause. So I got I have to drink something. But I just don't want y'all to be hearing that because that's not professional. And like I lean forward a lot, I don't have glasses and like I said before the audio problems, so like I don't be know like I, I really don't know where to keep the mic at because some like I listen back to some of these shits and you can hear me swallowing. <laughs> Like, before I open my mouth, you can hear, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, the moistness, I guess, in my mouth move, <laughs> move, and that, nobody wants to fucking hear that. But then it's like, if I move the fucking mic arm up and down, you can hear that more, you can hear that noise, too. So I, I just don't be knowing what to do. And then even that, like, even though nobody was talking during that, I didn't know if I should talk over that music or should I shut the fuck up or what. But Each statue represents a fighting style we will see on up. this island. 
The mixed martial arts style combines wrestling with striking. You don't want to box? Problems for no? conventional right. martial artists. And now that we on this bitch, I ain't gonna lie. I might just on my dolly. I might just go get those. Uh, I thought I wasn't gonna race this nigga. I am, <laughs> but I might just on my dolly go get those statues. I know what I know the outfits that they give you and keep it a buck with you. I'm probably never gonna wear them, but just just so that y'all know that I'm I'm that nigga. I'm gonna go get them. Oh, and I hope y'all know when I be saying I'm gonna go do some shit, that doesn't mean I know where everything is off the top of my head. I, I, I don't know how these other niggas be doing it, but I would be the first to admit I'm Googling a lot of, <laughs> a lot of this shit. I'm Googling, nigga. I'm looking at other niggas' videos to give a fuck. I said I was gonna get it done. I didn't say how I was gonna get it done. Welcome, gentlemen. To Zodiac Island. You all know the rules. Over the next few days, you will compete in a series of battles. Your strength, your skill, and your courage will all be tested. Your audience are the richest and most powerful men in all of Asia. Just me. Each has paid one million dollars <throat> for the privilege of being here. They will wager far more on your performance. Do not disappoint them. You are the best of the best of the best. This is insane. No others could survive the challenges that my island will put before you. Even so, only one of you will emerge triumphant. Only one can be champion. So nobody thinks it's weird that this is just an audience full of rich men. Uh, uh, like, this doesn't seem just a little, a, a little, just a little homoerotic. No, I mean, is that is that? Am I reading too much into this? Mr. Like Shen. you know what? And I ain't gonna lie, I've never even seen this movie. But I never, I like every time I see clips of it, I never thought like, why are there no women in Fight Club? Like, do, do, do women not have a lot of anger that they might need to get out? And I'm not, that sounded really sexist. I'm not saying that all women do, but I'm saying in the movie, right? It's dead ass just a bunch of niggas fighting in there. And don't get me wrong, I get that bitches can't just rip their shirts off and catch fades, but there's probably a lot of, there's women MMA fighters, so I'm pretty sure they're in, if we're in the fight club world where there's just this secret fucking underground gay beat up club <laughs> and I'm only saying gay because of that because of that because uh, of that Ted joke he was like so he was like so would you just go to like secret underground gay beat up clubs and they jump you at night <laughs> bro I'm so fucking immature the first time I seen Ted I knew I was gonna love that movie and I do but yeah to circle back to the fight club point there's just no women at all. No women want. No women wanted to catch phase. It's just this psychopath nigga and a, and another nigga. That's really just him. He's just himself. He's been talking to himself. I fucking do that. I can't get a movie. An admirer. Thanks. You helped out my uncle. He has a stall in the North Point Night Market. No problem. No, no. I am in your debt. I hope that I will be able to repay you one day. In the meantime, I wish you the very best luck. I know you will not need my help to defeat these fools. He just hit her with a no problem. You know you're talking to somebody you don't give a fuck about what they saying. That's what just happened right now. She was like, yeah, you helped my uncle. You know, the nigga, he got shot at you. You disarmed the nigga. Cut, cut, the, cut the nigga arm off. My uncle, you was able to make it back to me and his other three children, man. We appreciate you. Nigga was like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, like, whatever, bitch. Get on my way. Like, she was a fan. What's your problem? A fat nigga get beat up out questions. here. Us stupid people. Or son on ye assholes. You score three out of three. I'll kill you right now. <clears throat> What's your problem? <clears throat> nigga, Why I'm quick to the draw. You see me, you see me, you see me, nigga. You ain't have to say that. I was swinging first. I was already fucking swinging. I was already swinging. I was already swinging. I was already swinging. The fuck? You was never beating me up. You was never beating me up. You're pathetic. Dumb bitch, knock the stupid ass into the water. Look at you, look at you. Niggas talking all that. Now you sleep in a fucking koi pond. Dumb ass nigga got knocked out on some leapfrogs. 
Who's a bitch, nigga? And I'm in a suit. Yo, if you're ever in basketball shorts and somehow, some way, you can find a way to get beat up by a nigga in a suit, just stop fighting. You have one more athletic gear. So the nigga's story? suit. And I mean suits, yeah, you're supposed to be able to move around in them, but suits ain't meant for the square up. Nigga, suits are meant for, like, light movements. Like, passing cigars and, like, eating pasta and shit like that. Catching fades in a suit and then winning? I'm here for the prize. You? Yeah, same. Got bills to pay, you know? Used to break legs. No, I, no, I got this money. Seems uh, more. So I'm really just doing this for fun. I can't relate to you broke ass niggas. The fuck? Hey, actually, I kind of had a moment like that. Not can't relate to you broke niggas, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was walking my little sister to school one time, right? And another nigga was dropping his, his daughter off. He seen me, he was like, yeah, man, you know, the grind is, the grind is real out here, man, the hustle is real, you know, we gotta get him to school and dap me up, and in my mind, I'm dapping him up, and I'm like, oh, nigga, this isn't my kid. <laughs> what the fuck? You talk about the grind is real, nigga, I'm going to school after this. What the fuck? This is my sister. I, I cannot relate to you, my nigga, like... I don't mean that in a bad way, like, there's nothing wrong with having a kid as a teenager, but I was just in the back of my mind thinking, like, no, my nigga, I'm not one of y'all, don't, don't dab me up, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in that class, your problems are totally different from my problems, I just gotta get her to and from here, once we get home, I don't, I'm not handling if we eat or not, nigga, that's my mama job, that's my mama job, you gotta make sure your kid eats, what they wear, when they wear it, like, but that's why I always say, like, I just, Man, I, I appreciate the shit that my parents were doing growing up. Because my nigga, like, having a kid at this age would fucking suck. So, and uh, keep in mind, like, I'm, this is when I was still walking hey, her to school. I'm hey, grown now. I don't even live over there. This was when I was in, like, this is when I was in, like, high school. Like, I had to have been, like, 16. So that nigga was either, he was either the age I am now, which is he was 20 and I just looked older, or he was my age with a kid. Like, nigga, I can't, you, you tapping me up like I can relate. No, <laughs> no, my nigga. <laughs> I got a job because I wanted to buy money for clothes. I mean, because I wanted to have money for clothes and drugs, my nigga. You got to buy a baby for me. Trust me, I'm not the nigga you should be dapping up right now. Welcome to the qualifying round. Qualifying? Get your bets in, gentlemen. Come on, pussy. <laughs> you want to double down? You sure? Let's make it an even million. I don't know why that just made me laugh so hard. Hey, so y'all niggas, I gotta stop leaning forward actually, because I don't know how to audio. I just had to adjust myself, but like in real time. Y'all niggas ever, uh, not y'all niggas. Y'all niggas, um, y'all niggas heard that they're rebranding Hooters, I guess? And apparently they're doing it because they did like a study, which is fucking. First of all, I, I have a question off that <laughs> alone. Like, what what study did they do? And did they say that this is a study for Hooters? This is better than a cockfight any day. What, bitch? No. You guys I, know she's talking about, <laughs> I know she's talking about chicken. Oh, no, still. No, 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 no. How's your yard? 227 feet long. Just launched it last month. But goddamn, uh, I guess they did a study somewhere, right? And they it said that millennials don't like, uh, don't like booze. Which one? I could kind of uh, agree with that. Not that I, and I mean, I don't know. I've always been like more of an ass man myself. But I kind of think that the BBLs as like a trend are growing more. And I mean, not to make it just seem like I was just the most outside nigga, but I definitely remember like. 2016, 2017, like 2018, I feel like shit was different back then where like women were like they would get offended if you asked like did you get a BBL or where you got it from and now it's, it's women like like this is the nigga that like in the comments they'll be like this is the nigga that did it and if you use nigga cold Steph with the fatty you can get 20% off on your shit too. It's just become more normalized so much so that like a nigga everybody got a fatty. I seen I seen, and I'm not saying Shorty had a BBL, but I seen a, a TikTok video and I think TikTok is is helping just you, like TikTok, Instagram, nigga, you see more women with big butts. That's what I'm saying. I seen, I seen a TikTok of a girl working at fucking uh at Burger King, nigga. 
I was finna sing the McDonald's song. Uh, junior, Junior, Junior Whopper, that Burger King nigga with a, just a, a crazy amount of ass. Like, I guess she had just got in trouble, or not just got in trouble, but a lady was just like, uh, can you change your uniform? It's too revealing. And she literally had on the regular fucking boat Burger King polo and some khakis. So I'm saying not to say right. Their findings in the study low-key make sense to me. It's funny that I'm having this conversation while I'm lighting niggas' faces on fire. <laughs> but their findings in the study make sense to me. I just thought that they would have shut fucking Hooters down because nigga, that's a creepy ass place to go. But apparently, they just shut it. They're not even shutting it down. They're rebranding it, <clears throat> which is like, what are you, what are you rebranding Hooters to? And I, I get that it's called Hooters because I guess that was the thing. Like, the titties are like the 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 Hooters, which is fucking like that's why i'm saying this is a nasty ass place my nigga the name is literally a, a fucking a, a, i was gonna say a theme word like a code word for titties but uh, the way i look at shit is like <clears throat> and i'm not saying it's way shut. that it has to be like either black or white or just <laughs> this or that seriously that's the best you can do because i know i noticed that like i live in a world of extremes Right, it'll have to, it'll Is be like, if it's, if it's not this, it's not, it's, it's this, and I'm trying not to look at shit like that, but, the only reason I think this type of shit is weird is just because, like, why wouldn't you just go to a strip club, you feel me, like, essentially, right, <clears throat> and, this, this, like, I got, essentially, I guess, Hooters is just like, cause, think about it, strip clubs are where women are actually walking around, mostly naked or just naked as opposed to hooters you're going there. and i've heard that the fucking chicken from hooters isn't even that good now maybe it's because i'm black and like we we make chicken chicken but i've heard that that shit is like dog shit that that chicken is not good at all so really you just go in there because you a nasty nigga like at least because at least with the strip club thing i've heard i've heard people say like oh i go to the strip club for the food i don't be believing that you go in there because you want to see some ass this is not the only fucking place in the world to get tacos help, nigga help. it's not like they making fucking jerk chicken or some shit like that at the strip My club and just like specialty living. meals or you feel me it's, it's not like your grandma's mac and cheese. It just happens to be at the strip club. You could get whatever the fuck food you eat in there. You could get it somewhere else. And they might locally have it better somewhere else. But I've heard the exact opposite about strip club food. Like every time I've heard niggas say something about Hooters, they always say the chicken isn't that good or that it's bad. But I've always either heard people say that strip club food is all right or really good. So I just, I guess I just, and I think that it's supposed to be branded as like a sports bar, but there's so many other sports, like, and I, I guess I'm not, like, I'm not trying to, I don't even know how to, you feel me? Yeah. And like, I don't want to stay too much on this topic, but it was just crazy to me that that's not why they shut it down. Like, no, we're not shutting it down because this place is fucking weird. We're shutting it down because young niggas don't like titties anymore. And even at that, and I don't, I don't know because I've never been to Hooters or, and I've never really been to a strip club, but... I just never really understood the Welcome appeal of the going to Hooters. Why go to standing, we'll move on. And Why go to this fucking quote unquote family <laughs> restaurant? Because that's the other thing. Obviously, a nigga's this bringing their kids to Hooters, which is always kind of weird to me because it's like. It's not like a strip club to where they're walking around fully naked, but it's like my nigga, you know what you're doing at, at, at fucking Hooters. Like, come on, let's, let's, let's all be adults here. You know what you're doing at Hooters, nigga. Why is your fucking four-year-old here? Everybody likes looking at, at pretty women, but he don't need to see the, the... Like, and I don't even really want to say it's nothing wrong with it, because I just said that that's, type, that's the type of shit women walk around constantly, because mostly that is true. Like, I think if you... If you went to, and I'm not even talking about the makeup, bro. I'm just talking about like just shorts and a tank top. I think most girls walk around the house and shit like that, or like sweatpants. But that's not that's not that crazy, nigga. I walk and I don't be walk around the house in them type of shorts and a tank top. But nigga, I walk around the house in basketball shorts and a big t-shirt. So I mean, I don't really think that's much of a difference, you know. You look good. Should be a good match. I guess what I'm saying is, is Hooters is just always seemed like a, like I've never been pressed to go to Hooters because I've always heard that the food wasn't that good, and it just seemed like a fucking like a creepy meetup spot, my nigga, like the the creep hangout, like nigga creeps anonymous, nasty nigga anonymous, NNA, niggas just go there to be nasty. You feel me? 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just bucking. Because, again, like I said, I've never been there. So, I'm sounding really judgmental. But I just don't get the appeal of it. Like, why would you? And, again, this has nothing to do with the road there. I'm not... I'm not saying, like, I get it. If you, everybody needs, like, a job, so there's nothing wrong with you for working there. I don't give a fuck about, like, who's working there. This isn't me trying to shit on the women there or anything, but it's just always, like, and I go going around, look, maybe this is why I think this, because I've seen the episode of Horrible Bosses, and I feel like I talked about this before, but the nigga, he was a nasty nigga that, <clears throat> that owned the Hoovers, and basically he was doing, like, weird shit. Like, he would make the fucking girls eat beans off a plate but they couldn't use their hands like they didn't they didn't get no utensils they just had to it was them in like an apple bobbing contest but with beans on a fucking paper plate and i don't know what type of weird sexual thrill he was getting from that but that's a fucking creep so i <laughs> i'm I don't want to say if you own a Hooters or if you've ever been to a Hooters, you're a creep. But also, if you own a Hooters or you've ever been to a Hooters, you're a fucking creep. <laughs> you're, a, you're a nasty fucking pervert. These fighters are awful. You feel me? And me, I don't know, maybe I'm just being too judgmental, like I said. But I just, I just don't get the appeal of it. Cause just go to a strip club, or just like I just don't get it. I feel like niggas go to Hooters because that's where it's like socially acceptable and i don't even want to say socially acceptable because like i said i've never been there and this type of behavior isn't socially acceptable but i feel like niggas go to hooters because it's okay for you to be creepy and stare at the waitress or like it's okay for you like there's just multiple women walking around that look good but nigga first of all i don't even think that type of shit is that is that uncommon now like i heard jt say a couple years ago I think she was like she had beef with like Asian doll or something like that. Asian doll kept saying like nigga I'm I'm pretty you're ugly and JT was like bro I haven't seen a, a, a ugly bitch in years. You keep saying you pretty like that means something to somebody. Like it's pretty bitches everywhere. Which yeah. And she's right. When the fuck like honestly and I'm not I'm not even trying to ask this as a joke. I really haven't seen just a ugly girl in a while and I'm not saying this like I'm the fucking standard of beauty but. I don't know what the fuck factory is. I don't know, like, if they just, if beautiful people are just having a, a lot more kids together or something, but nigga, I haven't seen an ugly girl in a long ass time. So, I'm saying that to say, right, again, not like I'm just the fucking standard of beauty, nigga. I know what I look like. I ain't saying that, like, I'm just Mr. Mr. Got Bitches, and no, I ain't saying that like that, but what the fuck really is the appeal of this shit there's pretty women everywhere it's bbls everywhere nigga like the girl with at fucking burger king got a fatty you don't need to go to to, to hooters to see shapely women Kenpo, a japanese import but the true masters will tell you it originated here many thousands of years ago I don't, I don't know that was my little hooters rant and not even really a rant because they're gonna reopen that bitch uh, but I guess I just, and I mean, I kind of think we all know that, like, any nigga, like, what do you go to Hooters for? You don't go to Hooters for business meetings. I've heard niggas have birthday parties at the strip club. If you have a fucking birthday party at Hooters, you're one of two people. You're a 14-year-old white kid that lives in the Midwest, and your dad is, your dad is, like, overweight, and this is his way of, like, trying to be cool and bond with you, or you're the overweight dad. <laughs> And, and it's your retirement party. Either way, like, most niggas aren't having a birthday party at Hooters. Nigga, as a grown nigga, I would have my birthday party at Six Flags before I would have that bitch at Hooters. And this is speaking as a 20-year-old. As a 20-year-old. Next year, I'm gonna be able to buy liquor. I would have that bitch at Six Flags before I would have it at a fucking Hooters. You'd better drink this tea! You'll be screwed without this tea! Thanks. Uh, uh, what the? How did he not know he was getting drugged? This bitch said tea twice. You better drink this tea. You're gonna be screwed without the tea. Like, I heard you the first time. I know what the fuck it is. Just hand, Get hand me the cup. Your tournament is finished, you piece of shit. Oh, look. Now they're trying to hop me. Now, see, look. You lucky I don't got my gun. If I had that bitch... <clears throat> Come on. How you feeling, man? Take it. The fuck you feeling? Okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling loose. Finish I don't know him. what that bitch put in that cup, but I'm ready to fucking rumble. 
what did the deal? I seen a meme about that actually. Where a girl was like, when he, a girl was like, uh, when he put a perk thirty in my drink, thinking he drugging me, but now I'm about to, <laughs> now I'm ready to fight or some shit like that. I was like, damn. <laughs> that bitch get off the yurks and be ready to rumble. That, that's sick. Drugging people is sick. But also her noticing and then st still drinking and drinking, being like, I'm ready to squabble now. You feel me? That's, that's a sick ass joke. Uh, what was in that tea? <clears throat> Nigga, I don't fucking know. Yo, I really, and I really remish, remish, I really remember, wish I remember the video I was, I was talking about when I wrote this shit down, but I think I, and I don't even know if it was a new video or not, but I just seen the nigga that, and it was, again, God, one of those bum ass, you, um, it was one of those bum ass exposing cheating videos where they, where they were exposing somebody cheating on them, and the nigga literally caught his girl in a hotel. Right, trying to meet another nigga, and he came in the room and like poured champagne on her and shit like that, and like was trying to embarrass her in the video. And the entire time, I'm watching the video, and I'm like, so all you did was show that you get mad and you pour liquor on women, and that your girl went to a hotel to get, to, get to fuck somebody else. Like, this I just don't be getting these videos. Our competitor appears to be having trouble with his balance on <clears throat> the sand. So I'm scraped. Fuck You're not about. ready for the likes of me. Wait till you see my style. Try that yeah, kung fu no. shit on me! I dare ya! Yeah, all right, nigga. You are you are an aggressive ass nigga, ain't you? I'm about to beat you, we'll pussy. Oh, oh! Look at, look at you! 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 Fucking! Look at you! Look at you! My guy's losing again. What's this? Dumb ass nigga tried to hit me with an MMA fight. MMA move. This is not that. How's your ground game? This is not that. Come on. Come on. Come on, make some more funny sounds. That's fucking racist. <clears throat> God damn, man. Never ends, does it? There we go. Fucking go. Come on. Ain't gonna be no next time for you. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Come on. Come on. And you are comfortable to some car. Jesus fucking Christ, did you just break my arm? But yeah, my point in bringing that up is I would never understand uh, I would never understand exposing cheating videos and I would never understand niggas on, that do the extra shit like that in the cheating videos. You. Like I don't like the niggas that do it and I don't like the women that do it. Like I don't like this, I seen this, and I feel like I talked about this last time I, I spoke about this topic, but there was this girl that made a fucking TikTok, because I guess her nigga cheated on her, and she was like throwing glitter bombs and shit all through his apartment, Sayonara, and that shit is stupid to me, because it's like, like, why would you post this on TikTok? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? That's vandalism, bitch, like, and again, I ain't the most follow the law, follow the rule ass nigga, but... Every time I've ever done some illegal shit, my first thought was that, yo, let's record it. Like, me smoking dope on the way from, on the way home from work, I went like, yo, you know, this would make, this would make a great, um, this would make a great Instagram reel. Fuck no, nigga. I was, and I don't got window prints. I was trying not to get caught. Look at this dumb ass nigga. Mr. Wei Shen. And he was talking all that shit, talking about the funny noises. What Back to you? dumb ass in the back of the head. Bastards tried that on me too. I wasn't dumb enough to drink it though. You tried, guys, <clears throat> never learn. Not supposed to say this, but I think the flowers will help you out. My ma taught me about them years ago. Cure most poisons. Look for them in the rocks along the northern shoreline. <sighs> this shit went by a lot faster than I thought it would. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you. <sighs> I'm gonna go finish this up, go get these flowers. Yo, is it, damn, this shit is gonna take me a minute to get these flowers. But yeah, I just don't understand shit like that. Like, why would you, you feel me? I don't, I swear, I don't know if I have ADHD or not, but like, listening to myself get talk, it it's like, I get, I get, I will either jump from topic to topic to topic to topic, or I get really fixated on one thing. 
But like that Hooter shit, I feel like I probably shouldn't have talked about that for that long. But I just really wanted to drive a humble point. And not like what I why not like what I think matters, but niggas is gross that eat there. I ain't gonna lie. Come on, damn it. Like just go watch porn. <laughs> or go like no, nah, go watch porn, honestly. I feel like niggas that pay for porn are less creepy than niggas that go to Hooters. Cause like what the fuck is your end game? You feel me? Like, and I'm not saying every time you see a pretty girl, it has to be like, oh, she has to be naked or you have to be fucking. But I'm saying like, you can't be going there because the food is good. Cause I've never heard niggas talk about the food unless it's to say that that shit is bad. And again, let's say even if the chicken is good, you know how many fucking regular chicken spots it is? They got they nigga they got Popeyes with drive-throughs, bro. If you don't fucking take your ass over there. The beach? Have some tea, man. You're going to need it. <laughs> what the? Where the hell? What that bitch at with the eye patch? Some old fucking jab her other eye out since you wanna since you wanna drug niggas. Stupid bitch. But <laughs> I had to get some misogyny out real quick. I'm not this bitch. Y'all niggas go. Uh... I'm about to. Go. I was going. I don't know what the fuck to tell y'all to watch. So go watch Goodfellas, cause that's what the fuck I'm about to watch. And that bitch is like eight dollars on the Apple TV. You you can get it in 4K. They get some extras at the end, all type of shit. So do that. Have a good uh, year or whatever. And uh, y'all niggas have a good day at work. Have a good day at school. Go listen to. Go listen to some Warhols, cause I've been listening to a lot of him recently. So. Um, I can't. I don't even know if I could tell y'all which song to go listen to because I don't want. <laughs> it, uh, go listen to I Hate, and then yeah. So just look up Warhols like W A R H O L dot S S. It's it, just in case you don't know who that is, and then look up I Hate, and then you gonna see what the name of the song is. Yeah, y'all niggas go do that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry if I seem like a little bit low energy this time. I'm fucking tired. It's like 2 in the morning right now. Or, no, my my fault. It is 3 in the morning right now. I, I literally had to wake up and sit in bed for an hour to, like, convince myself to get up and grind. But, <sighs> nigga, grind won't stop. Hustle won't quit. So, full pipe down. You ain't talking about shit.